Clink 2.0 just dropped and people are kind of going wild over how good this AI video is. Some of it is very impressive and some of it is a straight up nightmare few. Let's take a look at both. So this is from PJ Ace. He's saying that AI video quality just 10x overnight. I'm speechless. And this is true. The fidelity of the graphics of the video is looking incredible. There's a realism there that I'm not sure, honestly, if we've seen it before, at least not as consistently. The scenes are intricate, very high detail, very realistic. Don't know what to say. Like there's nothing that strikes me as AI video other than, I mean, like the color scheme, the sort of the style, but that was almost could be attributed to the style of the video not some sort of an artifact because it was AI generated. Absolutely, absolutely blown away by this. This one is absolutely incredible. I think they are calling it uh, led by legends. Very weird, nightmarish kind of this uh, weird liminal space idea. I mean, you're looking at some of the legends, very eerie, creepy, almost dreamlike. You know, a lot of these people are no longer alive and it, they're kind of leading you somewhere through these weird sort of liminal spaces. Absolutely gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, and it definitely feels like a dream. There's a certain dream-like quality to it. You can almost imagine somebody telling you that they've had this exact dream. Here's one that's very artistic and beautiful, some sort of a translucent animals, spiders, bats, etc., even dragons made out of flowers. Incredible how well it captures the light going through the translucent sort of bodies of the animals, but they still look like the actual animals. Here's another one of that sort of uh, the camera facing you. I feel like there's a name for it that I'm blanking on, but the camera facing you as this person is going through a speed bike. I think it's supposed to be that Star Wars speed racing thing. Incredible. By the way, thanks to Angry Tom Tweets for uh, linking some of these together. Here's a Tech Hala. Kling just dropped its new 2.0 model and it's wild. It's wild indeed. Looking absolutely stunning and gorgeous the facial expressions, the emotion on the faces, the first person zombie. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. The plane flying overhead. I've tried to create that in some of the other AI models and nothing really came close to that. That idea of looking at a plane as it flies overhead, the reflections and the fog and the both the people and the lighting, the shadows, the environments, the liquid mechanics, the sweat, the tears, everything is just stunning. It's hyper-realistic almost. I am blown away by... Uh, this feels like a really big step forward, does it not? A few of them have some weirdness to it where you'll see something off about it. So here's one example of where I felt maybe it's a little bit weird, although that could be kind of an artistic... We would have to see what the prompt is. Maybe it's following the prompt. But I mean, these kids, I mean, kind of like their little stomps are projectile shooting the water into the air. Maybe, maybe that's part of the prompt. But I mean, come on, this, what is happening here? This is incredible. So here's the prompt for that, those two children running through the water. So they're running barefoot through the puddles while water splashes up around them in golden droplets. I mean, there's some things like uh, with each joyful stomp that maybe sort of created those things. But, you know, part of the description is like a fleeting summer memory frozen in time. And certainly this feels like that. It's this golden summer memory that's frozen in time. I, I gotta say, it really nails that prompt beautifully. We all remember those weird limps and weird things as the people are walking. There's zero of that here. Notice the people in the background the way that they're walking is perfect, fluid, right? The feet are placed on the ground, right? They, they, there's a consistency to it that seems new. This is the shot of the airplane and wow, does that seem good. Again, compared to a lot of the things that I've tried with this specific shot with the plane kind of flying overhead as the camera pans to keep it in, in, in frame, that's a difficult shot to create with AI. And what's interesting is like, as it flies over, you see the plane riddled with bullet holes. At least that's, I guess maybe those could be projectors, but I'm kind of reading it as 
you know, bullet holes because it, it crosses sort of like where the sun is. And as the sun is shining through, right, you can see the sun shining through. So I'm wondering if this is a plane that's supposed to be riddled with bullet holes and we're seeing the light, the, the sun going through the bullet holes as it flies overhead. Absolutely mind blowing. This first person battle with the night is just stunning. I mean, it can really imagine doing something like that in VR. It really would like put you right there, like the fidelity, everything else is beautiful. And in time, by the way, having this be kind of like streaming in real time in VR, I don't think is out of the realm of possibility. Certainly we've seen certain, you know, diffusion models that generate stuff like this as you're playing a game. So it's responding to you as you're playing the game. So something like this could very well be a video game where you're driving, where you're controlling the, the bike as you're going through the city streets. In these two, notice the fluid mechanics. So in 3D animation, animating the fluid, the water, stuff like that is notoriously difficult. There's a whole sort of subsection, sort of a whole science kind of devoted to making realistic looking fluids. Now you might argue that this tier doesn't look real, but I gotta give it credit in these next few shots about how beautiful the fluids are rendered or diffused or whatever you wanna call it. Notice the sweat dripping down, puddling, pooling on her um, chin, it's, it's incredible. Here it's the same thing. You know, notice that as he's kind of driving between the two cars, there's some puddles on the ground right there. And there's a street light directly above it. So notice what appears in the reflection as we're crossing. It's the reflection of the stoplight. We also have the reflection of the license plate. We have the reflection of the rear view lights of the car and absolutely, absolutely stunning. Here, notice we also have the reflection, but since there's no puddle, it's it's just wet asphalt, it's sort of muddled. And then as we approach the puddle here, it's crystal clear. I mean, it's distorted, but it's, you know what you're looking at is a puddle, a reflection of an object of light in the puddle. Brilliant. Can you imagine playing something like this in VR? I would lose my mind. This is absolutely insane. If you've ever wondered what a break dancing goblin would look like, here's a great depiction of it. It, it seems like a whole uh, village of goblins that are having some sort of a dance off. Here's another person that had advanced access to Kling 2.0 and they are saying it's absolutely incredible. That is nightmare fuel. Can you imagine? I think if you have ADHD, this is probably a dream that you've had often. A giant monster, a clock monster, basically time chasing you as you're <laughs> running somewhere and you better not stop or something horrible is going to happen to you. I mean, come on. This is a great shot of somebody on the safari riding a wildebeest or something like that. Great over the sort of over the head shot of a lion or a lioness, I think is what that is. Chasing Timon and or Pumbaa, I always forget which one's which. The boar, that looks like a boar, or I guess. I'm not 100% sure what animal that is. That could be a boar or almost looks like a jackal. I mean, I'm assuming it's chasing its lunch. So this is a, a female a lioness chasing its lunch through the sun setting um, safari. This is absolutely mind blowing how good this is. Some sort of a superhero flying through the skies. Stuff like this we've seen before. So this is like on par with existing ones, but this one seems like a step above. It's a horse made out of flame with a little selfie stick that he's able to go around 3D like this. This also looks absolutely phenomenal. Mad Max running away from the boulder. Looks really, really good a fantasy samurai riding a dragon-like wolf, first person indie racing. Wow, that's really good. One thing that's jumping out at me is like, if you've ever seen them from their helmet cam, they do always, are, they're pushing the various buttons on there to adjust various things, probably shift, etc. I have no idea, but notice that he is like rapidly shifting and notice that the wheel turning is consistent with what's happening on screen. So as he goes around, he's turning to the left and then turning to the right a little bit. It seems um, like it's sort of synced to where the car is going. Oh, here's the Star Trek speed racers. What are they called? Speeders? I forget. Getting chased by a giant Yeti, a black panther chasing a woman. Phenomenal. Here's a tribute to Mad Max, somebody playing the guitar while riding on top of a, uh, a Mad Max-like car. Another French shot of them riding on top of it. This is looking really good. 
they really capture the whole Mad Max atmosphere, the color scheme, how the people look, kind of that sort of post-apocalyptic environment. Really, really good. This looks a little bit more like animation, not as a sort of lifelike great action shot of a car going through the dirt. So this doesn't look like an off-roading car, but hey, they made it work. This is absolutely stunning. So you got a woman with uh, blue eyes or whatever, like something, very light eyes reflecting the light. So she's driving through the desert in the Mad Max scenario. This is, I, I, I'm kind of blown away by each and every single one of these. There's only a few so far that were kind of mad. I mean, you know, this is maybe a little bit of a step down, but this is also might be a different style. This is more like an animation style. So this is like a 1990s Fallout or early, you know, 2000s Fallout games. This is a little bit more real action shot from a real action movie. Very, very well done. Absolutely stunning. Rap videos will never be the same. Notice that the money seems very, like, it's consistent. So when he takes a stack out of one hand into the other, at some point, yeah, it, it jumps a little bit right. There's a place where it kind of, uh, it seems like a magic trick where it kind of just like shuffles from one hand to the other. But other than that, the fluidity of the money moving between hands seems very, very realistic. Also through most of the shot, the $100 the digits here seem to be like the, they're staying pretty consistent. Like you can tell what denominations he's holding. So recently, Kling has been probably one of the best video generations that people have talked about, probably near number one for most of the time out of all the other AI videos. So it's sort of the one to beat. But let me show you some of the other stuff that people have been creating with it. And if you had a chance to try it out, let me know what you think about it. If you haven't, what do you think about the stuff that you've been seeing? Would you say that Kling is the number one AI video generator right now? Do you perhaps prefer something like VO2? Let me know in the comments and enjoy.